lost civilizations, mysterious sunken cities, and legendary Atlantis itself. Vanished beneath the waves. There is a huge amount of unrecorded human history beneath the ocean surface that we don't know very much about at all. Imagine if we could empty the oceans, letting the water... It's true, we don't know much about Atlantis. We certainly didn't know much about it back in the day until the video game came along from Atari. That's right, you guys. It's a new video by Paul Maxi, but uh, this isn't going to get too much into the plagiarizing. I was very tempted to like scour for movie footage to plagiarize like I used to do. I was thinking uh, Aquaman, but that was really pushing it. I mean, it's... So I'll just do a plain review. I know my some of my haters out there hate how I just switch and use movie footage anyway. So let's just play some Atlantis. But you know I had to have that intro. Now you know, contrary to what you guys might think, I did not have every video game back in the day. And um, we had Demon Attack, and we had, I think we, you know, we had some iMagic titles, but we didn't have um, Atlantis early on. Maybe not even ever until I started collecting my own. And so I always saw it in those uh, brochures, and it looked pretty dope. And I'm looking close at my TV here, and it looks better than it does on this your screen. It's very colorful. Um, iMagic did a great job, man, with their colors. I don't know, did they have, like, special computers that they made their games with? Very colorful stuff. The only thing is, we know that this game comes up a little short compared to the Intellivision version, which, in the Intellivision version, you get to have your little UFO fly separately and shoot the, uh, you know, the enemy aircraft for you. But... I felt like playing a little Atlantis. It's a basic shooter, but the really nice graphics on this single screen elevate it. Like my friend Steve Markle says, any Atari game that has ocean is always intriguing. And these little cities down here are nice. I, I like what I see here. Those are nice graphics. I guess it's easier when you don't have to make them really move. But they do get blown up. Uh oh. So you know that you guys know the deal. You just but you get to fire from the middle, left and right. I mean, uh you gotta realize some people watch my reviews and they're not they haven't they don't have an Atari collection the way most of us do. So they might be like, Oh yeah, I gotta get that game Atlantis. Now as you can see I'm not that great at it. Uh, or at least I'm not in practice. I've lost my middle gun, oh This is the default setting when you just turn the... Ah, I got my middle game on at 10,000. So you really, uh... There's some gameplay here. You wanna... You don't wanna lose your middle gun, that's for sure. This game tests your reflexes and you shoot from... You know, it borrows heavily from Missile Command, of course. Uh-oh. I don't know. I gotta get my middle... The Lost City of Atlantis. Oh, and as you know, that spaceship takes off, and the sequel is in, in iMagic's game, um, the Space Art game. How did I, how do I forget that game's name? Of course I have it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So there, it's only 1770. Uh, but I like uh, Atlantis, and as you can see, it's challenging on the default mode. Good for a quick little game because I'm at home today and I have a haircut coming to my house, and I had time just to bust out a quick review and play. I mean, Atlantis is a must-have, but I do have it for Intellivision, and the presentation for the Intellivision version, the way they tell you that it's day one, day two, and you get different graphics at nighttime, and you get to, you know, use, you get to have your little UFO fly separately and shoot around the screen. I mean, it makes Atari 2600's Atlantis pretty basic. But not necessarily shallow. The idea when you're playing Atari 2600 is not to worry about what ColecoVision and Intellivision have. You just, you just do you, Atari. You just do you. 
So if you're wondering uh, why I haven't made any reviews lately, just, well, you know, I'm not on lockdown anymore, so I do have a job, and it seems like I waste a day a, a week getting drunk. But as I end my weekend and I'm getting ready to go back to work, I have a solid day at home where I'm not partying, and I get back into my Atari. I don't really need drinking to play Atari. I like to be like a kid when I was playing Atari, and I didn't need to drink when I was playing Atari back in the day. And uh, the term, uh, uh, the expression, have you played Atari today? That's a good one. It always makes me feel good. It's something I can enjoy sober, and it's some good, clean fun, I guess you could say. So Atlantis, we all know it's great, and um, I felt like playing it. You know, my collection's mainly, like, put away, but I always have some stacks out. And if you guys are wondering what I should review next, I mean, um, Mega Mania's here. Uh, I think I've already done most of these. Gangster Alley, I was wondering about. Um, still gotta do a review of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, Phoenix, I mean, I don't know. I'll do them. All right, you guys, I, that wasn't a very great review, but just felt like doing something. Have a good day. I'll try to make the next one better.